one of the new S1000 RR press launch, and they couldn't have picked a better place to have it than here at Barber Motorsport Park. And right now, we're in the museum checking out some of these amazing motorcycles, and then we're gonna have dinner, and then tomorrow, we actually go out on the track and ride the all new BMW S1000 RR. Hey, just as I was about to start, my good buddy Adam hey, Wahid walks up, out. How's it what's going, up, man? Welcome. Adam Wahid? How you doing? So you Welcome made it in, you had a horrible flight, didn't you? That was okay, man. There was just some <laughs> inclement weather in the Dallas Fort Worth region. So okay. We had problems, but. We're well, here. I'm glad you're here. He's going to be part of the intro. Good yeah. morning, everybody, and Good morning, welcome. Man. Good, Good to see you, buddy. See you too, Good man. See you, buddy. So we're about to have a fantastic day. We're at this beautiful resort near Birmingham, Alabama, and we're here for the launch of the all-new 2020 BMW S1000 RR. So you can see the Moto Journalist guys, Adam Wahid right there, drinking his morning coffee. And the rest of my good buddies are here too. There's my good buddy, Rennie, and that's Nick. And here's my newfound good buddy, also Nick from uh, Pirelli. What's up, man? Super swole dude, that beautiful Pirelli shirt. <laughs> We're gonna rip around the track today on the S1000 RR using the amazing Pirelli tires. Just a few moments, I'll be jumping on the all new 2020 S1000 RR, but not this one. This one's my good buddy, Nate Kearns. Beautiful motorcycle with the full a crap of its exhaust. You can see it looks nice. But these are the bikes that we'll be riding here at Barber Motorsport Park. M Sport Edition 2020 S1000 RRs. Super, super excited. The A group is out right now. That consists of my good buddy, Adam Wahid, Rennie, and other cool moto journalists. Troy is out there too. We're going to be going out in just a little bit. Lots of folks showed up for this event. The B group is about to go out now and then we'll have our turn on the machine. This one's mine right here. time putting my leg around and riding this beautiful 2020 S1000 double R and it is 2020 in the United States 2019 elsewhere I'm pretty excited Let's see what this bike is all about very comfy just from sitting here mirrors are great you guys know I love mirrors on motorcycles especially when they're effective don't shake and have a nice design to them like these do but the thing that strikes my eye immediately when you sit on this beautiful machine is the 6.5 inch thin film transistor gauge. The largest in the segment right now. Maybe the manufacturers will start engaging in TFT gauge wars and we'll eventually see a Tesla style iPad on these suckers. <laughs> I doubt that, but this is nice. Um, um, for those of you that are familiar with the S1000RR, the first or second generation, you'll be uh, pleasantly pleased <laughs> that the uh, instrument cluster and the dials look very similar. Your heated grips is still in the same position. Engine start stops, very familiar. Even the uh, cruise control, very similar. I think the addition will be this uh, jog dial that you have there, but we'll get into the settings in a little bit. As you can see, this motorcycle is equipped with dynamic damping control, DDC, electronic suspension. in a couple words, it's very V4-ish. And what I mean by that is very Ducati V4-ish. And that's a very, very nice compliment to this inline four engine. Because it produces power all over the rev range, man. Just like BMW said, from 5,000 to 13.5 RPM, the bike is producing power. And uh, 
That's pretty amazing because the previous generation did not do that. You really had to somewhat wring the neck of the old S1000 double R to get the power out of it. This one, <laughs> oh man, it's got power for days. today riding the all new 2020 S1000 double R and I'm so excited to be here at Barber Motorsport Park. Special thanks to BMW for having me out and all of my great moto journalist buddies for embracing me and accepting me uh, into uh, this event. Those guys have been very awesome and the bike is really amazing. The brakes feel better than the previous generation. They're not so grabby it's more of a progressive brake feel this time on this bike, and I like that. You know, you don't need to really have a Brembo logo on that caliper for it to be an exceptional braking machine. The BMW or Hayes calipers or whoever makes them, they're really nice. They work well for this bike. BMW invested a lot of time in testing to find the optimal braking system, and they decided that it wasn't necessarily with Brembo, and I think it pays off here at the track. The rear tail lights that are on what appear to be the turn signal stalks are really starting to grow on me. They're ultra bright. And they look pretty good. Okay, so we've been riding these bikes for several sessions all day long and I will say this the Pirelli tires that BMW requested for this press launch are absolutely amazing I'm not sure if the camera picks it up but after I'd say let's see we've done nine sessions and the tire wear is pretty darn good considering we've had a variety of different riding styles and riding abilities these tires are amazing but they are not the OEM tires for this motorcycle, unfortunately. But uh, I do highly recommend them because they've made this track day really, really enjoyable. Some of these bikes are already out of fuel, so they will be refueled. Bucky Sacrilege? That's my name, don't wear it out. I won't, sir. Hey, hey. What's up, B-Man? How are you liking the bike, man? What's up? How are you liking the bike so far? I can't wait to put it in more track-oriented settings. But yes. the road stuff, I can tell it's going to be good for the street. Yeah, I think all the YouTubers out there are going to like it. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Bucky. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. How's it going? What, what are you doing? I am going through the endless amount of settings and options and just trying to figure out what we want to take a look at. My good buddy, Abby here, doing his job here as a thorough moto journalist that he is. With that awesome hair. If I had that hair, I'd be in California. So all these guys. Oh, there's Red Spade. Anna, she's about to go out. We're going to be doing a group ride with her, hopefully, if her schedule permits, in Atlanta, June 25th. And she's going to take us to the Fontana Dam area, so that should be pretty epic. So let's keep your fingers crossed that her schedule permits for that cool activity. But let me stroll over here and show you some of the parts. There's the parts of Rennie. You staying hydrated? I'm trying to. I'm sweating it out. <laughs> Whatever goes in is going right back out. Too. That's so a good thing. That is, yeah. Uh, it's good. It's good fun. Loving the bike so far? Yeah, it's a bit of a weapon. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's extremely fast on the top end. It's got a bit of a problem when you accelerate through that sort of pollution thing that they've yes. into the bike. 
We're going to remedy that, Rennie, when I remove the exhaust on my bike, and I want you to come out and ride my, uh, my modified bikes. I think you're going to love that. we got to set that up. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Stay tuned for his awesome video on his YouTube channel. Link for it. It's going to be in the description. Let's take a look at some of these. Hey, how are you guys doing? I remember you. Yeah, doing, from the school. Yeah. I'm the guy you had to keep repeating stuff to over and over and over and over again. <laughs> yeah, let's take a look at some of these amazing parts. They're just beautiful. This machined aluminum is absolutely stunning. Really is. And they have, and so this is what would happen when you take, when you remove the brake turn signal light, you can put this cool plate on there. And the rest of these parts are awesome too. We're not going to use any of these parts for our new bike build series machine because our good buddy Manny from Moto Million is sending us custom parts that we're going to put on that bike because we want our new bike build series S1000RR to be somewhat different from what's out there in the wild. But look at these beautiful carbon fiber wheels. See how light they are? Well, you can't see how light they are, but they're super light. We're going to weigh my motorcycle when I take possession of it here real soon which will probably be by the time this video is up, I should have my 2020 S1000 RR M Sport in my possession. Love the hair, Adam. Huge fan. I wish I could grow hair like that, I would. In a drop of a dime. Miracle grow, bro. That's what I should use? Yeah, that's okay. what I use in my garden. I use it in my hair too. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Stay hydrated. Mm. Buddy, how's your oh. riding experience today? It is really good, man. Are it's you really melting? Good. So now, yeah, I'm glad you turned. I'm glad you turned around because now I can see you better. That lightning was horrible. That's why I ran away from you really quick, but now it's great. So yeah, I'm enjoying the bike. I keep watching you coming down the front straight like a madman. You know, you and your uh, moto journalist. I'm just trying to hold her wide, buddy. Wow. Hold her wide. Well, you're doing an exceptional job. What do you think of the bike so far? Summarize, because I don't, I don't want you to give away what your video or what your media is going to say about it. But in a couple words, what would you have to say about it? Polished. Nice. Nice. Let's leave it at that. Polished. Let's leave it at that. That guy has some amazing, there he is. I've been stalking you all day, Mr. Code. Hey, Dylan. How you doing? Man, I got to follow you that last, well, try to follow you that last session. You're a beast out there on your new S1000. What do you think about the bikes joining your fleet for uh, the California Superbike School? Uh, well, I think maybe one of the things that stands out the most is the handling is just even another step up. People are constantly asking us, okay, so, you know, what's it like? And, I'd just say it's just better in every way. I wouldn't say that any specific element is night and day, but mm -hmm. the overall score is much higher because you know the, the ergos are better, the, the dash is really nice. So yes. we're very excited to have it at the school. I mean, who, who doesn't like cool cool stuff? <laughs> exactly. You know, and, and this is the latest thing. They've been uh, working on it for a while too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to returning to your school for level three training and also looking forward to getting my good buddy, Jared Campisi at your school for level one. We got to get that guy on the track, and I got to get you to train him. Right on. Thanks, thanks, Dylan. All right. Really cool dude, man. His dad was here earlier, hanging out with us, and he left. But just look at these amazing machines that we get to ride today. What a fantastic gig this is. You can't really complain about it, even though it's scorching hot. It's over 95 degrees. Everyone here is thoroughly enjoying their time with the all-new BMW S1000 Double R's. Okay, so now we're gonna ride these bikes in race mode. That should be pretty interesting. A few laps on the S1000 Double R, the new one. as they were in the previous gen. Smooth quick shift. <laughs> awesome, awesome power.
there's other bikes instead of it. But this one, I can see people loving this bike for a track machine. As much as the folks love it for street smackdowns and country rides. Exceptional break. here off the brake and in third gear look at that power you got I started at 6,000 RPM and it had lots of grunt V4-ish grunt and that's from the shift cam technology that's in the engine working is magic so how can I summarize such an amazing machine the 2020 BMW S1000 RR. This one is the M Sport Edition that I had the pleasure of riding all day at the Barber Motorsport Park. Well, you can hear Nate Kearns out there <laughs> on, on his S1000 RR with an Akrapovich exhaust. The bike sounds amazing. But this one in stock form, it's also amazing. If I could summarize it in a few words, I'd say it lived up and it actually exceeded all of the hype and expectations that this bike had. The shift cam technology that BMW is using in this motor is absolutely amazing. You get power now from 5,000 all the way up to the red line. In the previous versions of this motorcycle, you'd almost have to wring its neck to get some ample power out of the machine. But that, with the shift cam, totally brilliant. That makes track riding, country riding, canyon riding, smackdowns and all that a lot less effortless and a lot easier because you have more power at the low and the mid range of the RPM. That's outstanding. The next thing that really impressed me about this motorcycle is it's beautiful 6.5 inch thin film transistor screen. It is absolutely amazing with lots of information displayed. It's configurable in several different, several different ways and it shows you just about anything you need to know about the motorcycle. The gear indicator, the speed, the tachometer, it even has three stages of heated grips that are displayed when you activate that on the TFT screen and that is really brilliant. The quick shift and auto blipper on this machine work really, really nice. Uh, I never had an issue with it, never went into false neutral or anything like that, so I have to take my hat off to that. But again, the previous two generations of the S1000 also had great auto blipper and quick shifter, so that's to be expected. The brakes are really exceptional. BMW has proven you don't need a Brembo badge on your caliper for it to be an exceptional braking system and this one works really well. The difference between this bike and the two previous generations of the S1000 RR is the braking has a more progressive feel to it. It's not really grippy and bitey from the initial pull. And that's great, especially when you're on a track when you don't really want to be jolted out or you don't want to upset the chassis from excessive braking. This bike answered that question and really, really, really improved the braking experience. If I do have a gripe about the motorcycle, it would be there seems to be somewhat of a flat spot between 7,000 and 9,000 RPM. And I think you can attribute that to the huge catalytic converter and stock exhaust that's on this machine. But once a person like myself removes that and places an aftermarket exhaust on it, you won't have a problem at all. In fact, I talked to Nate earlier today and the bike that he's riding with the full of Krapovich exhaust does not have that issue. So I think that could be easily remedied. The LED lights, of course, we didn't get to use the lights on a track, but occasionally I look in my mirror and I'd see uh, bikes behind me. They are really breathtaking LED lights. For the low beam, both lights are on, which is really great. And uh, for the high beams, they're really bright too, I'd imagine. But uh, gone are the asymmetrical headlights, but they've been replaced by beautiful light emitting diode, beautiful lighting displays. Here comes Nate yet again. as he pulls the wheelie down the front straight. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you're currently a subscriber, tap that bell so you can be notified when new content is uploaded. In summary, it's a great machine and it's definitely on the top of my list for sport bikes for 2019. You're gonna to have to wait and see how this bike fares against the rest of the bikes I have in my collection. One of these bikes has to be the ultimate winner, but this one for right now is an absolute strong contender. 
Thanks so much for viewing. You guys take care. And just like that, our day is done and these motorcycles are getting packed up in this semi-tractor trailer and they are headed off to California for Dylan and Keith Code's California Superbike School. What a fantastic way to end a beautiful press launch for the all new 2020 BMW S1000 RR. Them being serenaded with bagpipes. Outstanding.